I'm Karen from the Counseling Department at Lakeland Community College, and I'm here today to talk about the three different admission options to be admitted into the dental hygiene program. Let's get started. The first option is the high school option. This option is for current high school seniors and high school graduates who apply to the program within two years of high school graduation. To be eligible for this option, students must earn a composite score of a 21 or higher on the ACT or a 940 or higher on the SAT, place into Math 1330 Statistics for Health Sciences or higher, or complete Math 0850 Beginning Algebra. Complete Algebra, Chemistry, and Biology with at least a C or higher while in high school and have an overall high school GPA of a 2.5 or higher. Option two, college option. To be eligible for this option, students must earn a 2.5 GPA between Health 1215, Medical Terminology, and Biology 2210, Anatomy and Physiology 1. Biology 2210 has a prerequisite of Biology 1200 or Chem 1100, or high school chemistry and biology in the last five years, or a passing score on the biology placement test or CLEP test. Since Chem 1100 Elementary Chemistry is a required course for the dental hygiene degree, it is recommended that students take this course to satisfy the prerequisite for Biology 2210 Anatomy and Physiology 1. Students must place into Math 1330 Statistics for Health Sciences or higher, or pass Math 0850 Beginning Algebra to be eligible to take Chemistry 1100. Additional Option 2 Requirements the math requirement to apply for the program is to place into Math 1330 Statistics for Health Sciences or pass Math 0850 Beginning Algebra. The pre-admission test, the TEAS test, must be completed with at least a 50%. The third option is the college option. This option is for students who have earned an Associate of Science degree in Nursing or Allied Health, a Bachelor's degree in any major, or an Associate of Science degree. All Option 2 college option admission requirements still apply with the exception of the TEAS test, which is waived for students who have previously earned any of the degrees mentioned above. Before applying to the program, students must also meet with the program director and have their applications signed. Thank you for joining me today to learn more about the admission criteria for the nursing and allied health technology programs here at Lakeland Community College. If you have additional questions, feel free to contact the Student Service Center to schedule an appointment to meet with a counselor. Have a great day.